An unusual grassroots movement is gearing up to try and persuade Governor Schwarzenegger to drop his plans for a special election. Tonight, all around California, house parties were held with a political agenda. And Channel 2's Amber Lee was at one of those house, par house parties in San Francisco. She's live now with more on how it went. Amber? Frank, around the state tonight, special election opponents are attending what they call motivational parties. This house party in San Francisco's Noe Valley neighborhood is among dozens held in different parts of California tonight. Volunteers here say they've spent the last two months mounting a campaign to try to discourage Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger from calling a special election. It's quite a lot there. Volunteers say this stack of petitions contains the signatures they've collected from people who oppose a special election. Activists say they've already collected 40,000 signatures across the state. They hope to have a total of 50,000 signatures by this weekend before turning them over to the man who calls himself the people's governor. Well, he said he wanted to take it to the people, so we thought we would go out and get the people's opinion and take that back to him. But Republicans say reform is needed sooner rather than later. Timothy Simon is vice chairman for political affairs for the Republican Central Committee. What I'm, you know, supporting and what I'm proud of the fact is that he's willing to go forward taking on these major special interest groups and, and letting them know that he'll take it to the people. And I think the people will support his reform measures. The governor has until June 13th to announce whether he will go ahead with a special election this fall. Critics say a special election is unnecessary and too expensive. The price tag is estimated to be more than $80 million. They say the initiatives for reform, which include redistricting, teacher tenure, and the state budget are issues that can wait for the June 2006 election. What are we going to have in the state? A special election every year and then a regular election? Think, think of what we're talking about, a fall election, spring election. It's absurd. I think what's important to emphasize is that the governor is willing to pull the trigger. He's willing to go for a special election. And if the Democrats in the legislature are courageous enough to negotiate with him to find a compromise, um, I, I expect that that door is probably open. During tonight's gathering, Assembly Speaker Fabio Nunez and San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom were scheduled to participate in a conference call to rally special elections opponents. But both men canceled. Nunez was still conducting business in the state assembly, and we're told the mayor had a scheduling conflict. Live in San Francisco, Amber Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Besides whether to take his agenda to the voters, the governor talked of a special election today while speaking to radio shows. The issues he wants on a November ballot, redrawing legislative district lines, making teachers work five years before earning tenure instead of the current three, and capping spending when state expenditures outpace revenue. Schwarzenegger hoped the deadline would move lawmakers to act. Critics point to the $80 million cost of a special election. So what we have to do is just fight our way through that and, uh, you know, and go to the special election and make sure that we give the people the chance to vote on those issues. Why are you doing this, Governor? And there's no answer that can be sustained that says because it's for the good of California. The governor's office says it'll likely make an announcement Monday, but that a special election is all but inevitable. Strategy Forum, ABC 7's Capitol correspondent Annette Miranda joins us live from Sacramento with an update on the battle of wills. Annette? Well, it looks like the governor's will is going to win because it's really not a surprise that the governor is going to call a special election. He and legislative leaders have only met once this year compared to 22 times last year. With no compromise in sight, November 8th is the likely date. The governor made the rounds today on various statewide radio stations set up for an annual broadcast outside the Capitol. He made news confirming that he will call a special election. Well, we're going to make the announcement on uh, June 13th, but they, there will be a special election. It's inevitable because I think the people of California uh, have to vote on some of those reforms. It seems the governor did not hear calls earlier in the day to stop the special election. We're asking the governor not to call the special election that will drain 80 million dollars from our state's treasury and deeply divide the people of california nor is he giving weight to the thousands of petitions from grassroots groups delivered to his office 50,000 signatures of voters who would ask respectfully 
that he save us all $80 million. With approval ratings below 50% for the governor, some political observers think a November special election is risky, especially if he wants to run for office yeah. again. If he loses on the big things that he wants, he's in a very weakened position after that election. The governor's impending announcement upsets in-home support worker Deborah Hibbler. She'd rather see the $80 million pay caregivers like her, who already have trouble making it on $9.25 an hour, and fears that could be cut. I would probably have to get some type of public assistance. I mean, I can't live. Uh, pay my house note. I can't eat. The governor insists he cannot wait seven months for the normally scheduled election in June of 06. The key thing is that the people will vote for our reforms because that's how we really clean house. And that's how we create really the reforms that we need in order to build a future for California. Schwarzenegger's agenda includes extending teacher tenure from two to five years, redrawing political districts, and making it easier for a governor to make budget cuts. A recent poll by the Public Policy Institute of California shows that 62 percent of voters would rather see those proposals on next year's ballot. Live in Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Nanette. If you have enough money, you can get inside information on the governor's campaign strategy. The Los Angeles Times reports that big campaign contributors have been given a secret phone number allowing them to conference in on campaign strategy sessions. In the most recent one, the governor's media expert said he's devised a strategy to create anger among voters toward the unions representing police, firefighters, nurses, and teachers.